Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you can pray your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex, in-laws, and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network live broadcast. Amen. This broadcast is designed for our members. Amen. Praise God. We go the extra mile on behalf of our members every day. Amen. Several times a day behind the scenes in the spiritual realm, we are knocking devils out on behalf of our members, their family members, the entire household. But we also have our live streaming here where we do the same. Praise God. We all, every day we knock devils out. Amen. Devils have to be knocked out every day. Okay. Demons have to be put to run every day. Several times a day. Every day. If we don't do it, they'll take over. Okay, if we don't do it, they will take over. I mean, they're messing up with everybody out there. Rich and poor, everybody's falling prey to Satan and his demons, okay? Amen. Some people don't want to believe that. They want to ignore that, okay? Thinking that by ignoring this reality, they will be safe. No, there's no safety. Okay, there's a reason why Jesus gave us authority over the kingdom of darkness. There's a reason why. Okay, it's for us to exercise spiritual authority, right? I always like to quote 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses from 3 to 6. That's what the Bible says. You know, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Praise God. Our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network is going somewhere. Okay. Sent by God. Ordained by God. Pay attention. Let me repeat that. Our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network is going. It's climbing the hills. Ordained by God. We are. Okay. You know, stretching our network all over the world. Okay? This is unheard of. You know, some church people, they, he, you know, they, they preach about spiritual warfare, but they never do it. And when they do it, they do it the wrong way. Okay? Amen? We want to take the nations for Christ. We want to take cities for Christ. Amen? Starting with zip code areas. For Christ. Amen. Now, 99% of the churchgoers are all weak. Okay. They are all getting beat up by Satan. They do nothing to change. They are afraid of Satan. They fear retaliation. They fear Satan. They fear Satan's demons. That's why they are always getting in trouble spiritually. Always. Okay, and when they try to fight, they fight the wrong way. They fear Satan. How can you defeat Satan's kingdom if you are afraid of him? If you are afraid of retaliation? All right, that's the right thing to do. Th that's the right way to do things. Okay, running away from Satan is not the way to do it. Hiding from Satan is not the way to do it. That is not a spiritual warfare. Okay. That is a spiritual scare, not warfare. Okay. 
Who told you? And who taught you? And where can you find this in the Bible? To be afraid of Satan. Show me that in the Bible. It's not there. Jesus never told anybody to be afraid of Satan. Why are you afraid of Satan? Why are you afraid of demons? Why is that that you, 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 you know, you are afraid of fighting demons because you are afraid of retaliation. You are afraid that Satan is going to beat you up and kill you. Well, he will. Keep afraid, keep fearing him and eventually he will knock you dead. All right. Some people don't like to hear this because they are cowards. They are weak people. They call themselves Christians, but you know, they, it, it, tell me that you believe in Jesus and you are running away from Satan. Tell me that simply does not match. Okay. All right. Now you tell me you are a Christian, but you don't even know how to fight demons. Now we have something so powerful in place. I've been making the invitations here. Only a few people have signed up already, but the majority of the people that have watched the videos, you know, they have done nothing about it. Why? Fear of Satan. They don't want to put themselves on the spot. They don't want to put themselves on the spot. They are afraid. They are scared to death because they are cowards. They are weak people. That's why. They don't know how to fight. They keep attending this lukewarm church, okay, full of sin and adultery. That doesn't help, okay? Now we are inviting people here to become, you know, zip code lighthouses. And only a handful of people signed up. The great majority, you know, I would say 90% of the people that watch the videos the explanations, they have done nothing about it. They think they are safe for not joining us. They think they are safe. They think they are going to be safe. If they do not join us, they will be safe. If they join us, they will be in danger. That is the lie. That is a lie of the devil. The devil is scaring them away from what we are doing. Why? Because we are entering Okay, the spiritual realm all over the planet. Starting with zip codes. Then we move up to cities. Then we move up to states. Then we move up to nations. Okay, we are about business. This is the last, I mean, this is, this is what I call the last days type of ministry. We enter the spiritual realm to fight demons. We do not hide under a bed. We do not run away from Satan, okay? We are different. That's why we have a powerful ministry in place. Our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network is powerful. We make all the difference out there. All right? No wonder we put demons to run every day and they have to go. Because we exercise spiritual authority. They have to go. Now we are trying to help everybody. We are trying to help, you know, you know, one zip code at a time. We are trying to, you know, help cities. We are trying to lower the criminality rate over zip code areas, neighborhoods, cities, states, and nations. And... The majority of the people that listen to our invitation to join us, they run away. They say, no, this doesn't sound good. Well, what sounds good is watching pornography on, 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 on the internet, right? This that we are offering right now does not sound good, right? It does not sound good. But watching pornography, watching secular movies, listening to secular music, those things look okay, don't they? Do you want to know why? Because you are heavily possessed by demons. That's why you don't see the opportunity that is being offered to you. Well, Brother Carla, but you're asking for money. You ask for a donation. Well, you know, that doesn't sound right. Well, let me tell you something. God asks for money too. How about the 
How about tithes and offerings? That is God asking for money. So what's wrong about asking for money? Even God asks for money. Even God asks for money. Okay? So what's wrong? Asking for money. We are doing a marvelous work. We are doing the leg work. We are going after your stinky devils. So what's wrong asking for money? Jesus had a money bag in his ministry too. Jesus had a money bag in his ministry. Money bag. Why? For money. Why? They were taking offerings. That's why there's nothing wrong in asking for money. Okay? It's biblical to ask for money. It's biblical. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Okay? Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For he who asks, receives. He who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be open. God wants you to join our ministry. God wants you to join our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network, either as a, you know, a spiritual lighthouse, or a spiritual city mayor, or as a spirit, a, a spiritual state governor. Or as a spiritual nation president or prime minister, depending on where you live. Okay? God wants you to join. Brother Carlo, but you ask for money. You keep asking for money, Brother Carlo. Can I, uh, can I join for free? No, you cannot join for free. Do you want to know why? Okay? Because talk is cheap. When people join things free, they don't show any commitment. Okay? You need to put your money where your mouth is. That is commitment. Now, God is telling me to tell you. You don't have to use your own money. Brother Carl, are you sure? You can sign up either as a spiritual lighthouse or a city mayor, spiritual city mayor, or a spiritual state governor, or a spiritual nation president, and you don't have to use your own money. That's what God is telling you right now. You don't have to use your own money. Brother Carlo, that is good news, Brother Carlo. Finish the sentence, Brother Carlo. Well, God is telling you that you can use a portion of the money that belongs to him that you have been stealing from him. Because you don't honor him with your money, okay? You don't honor the tithes and offerings, okay? So in other words, you have been stealing money from God. Now he's telling you that you can sign up using a portion of his money that you have been stealing. In other words, you don't have to use your own money. Use God's money, okay, that you have stolen from him. All right. God wants you to become a part of this spiritual warfare strategic network. Enough with the lukewarm guys preaching all, all over YouTube. Enough with that junk. Enough with lukewarmness. Enough with people driving out Jezebel and Leviathan. Enough with that. Okay. They gossip more than they preach. Okay. God wants you to be part of a spiritual war, our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network, either as a spiritual lighthouse over your zip code area. Start with that. Then you can move up. But if you are bold enough right now, after me preaching this, and also after me telling you that God wants you to be part of, you can jump all the way to the top and sign up as a a spiritual nation president, okay? And you don't have to be afraid of Satan, okay? All right? Because we are going to put Satan and his demons to run. That's why we need points of contact in states, cities, nation, and zip code area. That's why we need a spiritual, legal, you know, uh, uh, jurisdiction. Over zip code areas, also over, you know, cities, okay, and then states, 
and then nations so that we can legally enter those areas and start fighting off demons there. But if we do not fight the demons, they are going to swallow you alive. Turn on the news. Pay attention to the destruction out there. Satan is at work. Satan and his demons are at work destroying everywhere. Now, God has another word for you. Right now. This is what he's telling you. He is. He has ordained. This is what he's telling you. God is telling you this. He is the one who has ordained the spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. And everything that we are doing here, it's ordained by God. Okay? Now, he, he also wants me to tell you this. If you have a way of joining, but you don't want to join because you are afraid of Satan, you don't want to put yourself on the spot, you know, you are afraid of demons. You are afraid of retaliation. God is telling you right now, if you are able to join, but you choose not to because of fear of Satan, retaliation, and the like, God is telling me now to tell you that he's going to allow Satan to show up at your face in the days to come. In other words, there will be a shake-up in your life and in your home. God is going to allow Satan to show up in your house, okay, for a shake up. He is going to be allowed to get on your face because you are afraid of Satan. You are going to pay a very high price in the days to come. All right. That's God telling you because God wants you to fear him, not Satan. Where have you learned about fearing Satan? Where have you learned that? I mean, what Bible have you been reading? There will be a price to pay. You heard what God said. If you have a way of joining our network, but you choose not to because afraid of retaliation, you don't put yourself, you don't want to put yourself on the spot, then you are already on the spot. You are unprotected and Satan is going to show up at your door and it's going to be ugly. All right, you need to learn to fear God. All right, you need to learn to fear God. All right. Now, what is that that, I, that God is inviting you to join? Well, you got to go to BrotherCardos.com and find out. You got to go to BrotherCardos.com and find out. Okay, read about it. Watch the video there, a nine minute long video. Watch the whole thing. All right. Our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network is in place to help people, to help families, to clean up neighborhoods, to clean up cities, to clean up states, and to clean up nations spiritually. Now you tell me who else is doing this out there. Now you tell me who else is doing this out there. Nobody is. That's the answer. God wants you to join. Okay. God wants you to join, to join at least as a spiritual lighthouse. Start with your zip code area. Don't run away from Satan. He's faster than you are. He will catch up with you. And it's going to be ugly when that happens. There's no way, there's nowhere you can, there's no place where you can go to hide from Satan, okay, on this planet. You better learn how to confront him instead of running away from him. You better learn how to confront him and how to confront his demons and put them to run. Otherwise, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be painful. Okay, you and your family are on the line right now. Okay, amen. If you have a chance to join this powerful ministry, you know, of clean up, you know, spiritually clean up, you know, neighborhood, city, state, and nation, you have a chance to join, then join. Don't run away. Okay, join us. Okay, if money is an issue, then 
Use the money that belongs to God that you have been stealing from him. You don't even have to use your own money. Use God's money. Okay? We are about something big. Don't you see it? We are about something big. Don't you see it? I'm going to play a video right now and it's not going to be this one. It's not going to be this one. It's going to be another one. Let me remove that one because it's going to be another one. And I want you to listen to the whole thing. But before we go there, let me drive out some demons here. I'm not going to drive out too many demons because I want you to focus on this today. Okay? I want you to focus on this today. This is more important right now for you. Okay? You got to make up your mind. Okay? Whom will you serve? Okay? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? If you don't want to serve God, you're gonna, you are already serving Satan. That's bottom line. Wake up. All right, let's drive out some demons right now. Stay here, okay? Don't go anywhere because I have a video that I want to play and I want you to watch the whole thing. That's bottom line, okay? You got to make up your mind today before it's too late. Remember, Satan is going to be allowed to show up on your face. And when that happens in the, in the days to come, it's going to be ugly. There will be a major shakeup. Now, go figure that out. Go figure that out. Never fear Satan. And join the spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. This is a ministry for you to be part of. We are all over the planet. We are all over the planet. We are going to do damage to Satan's kingdom. All over the planet. And we need you as a spiritual legal jurisdiction. Okay? And if you flee from the calling, there will be a high price to pay. There will be a high price to pay. All right? All right, let's drive out some demons here from our members. <clears throat> the Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Come out, evil spirits! Come out now, evil spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get out now from our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network members. Get out of them. Get out of their family members. Get out of the entire household. Get out of them. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out of me. Get out of my ministry partners. Get out of my sons. Get out of my grandchildren. Get out of all my descendants. Get out of my entire household. Get out of us and go straight to the abyss. Get out of us and go straight to the abyss. You evil spirits, Come out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Disappear from our faces and go straight to the abyss. Come out now in Jesus' mighty name. All right, that's enough. Now I want you to watch this video here. All right, don't go anywhere. Watch this video right now. Listen to the whole video. Hello, friends. This is Brother Carlos here. Please listen to this whole video as we have now four anointed offices that I want to share with you. The first one, we call it spiritual lighthouses. What does that mean? Okay, we like to encourage you to become a spiritual lighthouse in your neighborhood, in your zip code area, in order to give us, okay, uh, um, spiritual legal juri jurisdiction in your zip code area. So that as a network, we enter your zip code area, okay, to do spiritual warfare there in order to change the uh, spiritual atmosphere over your, over your zip code area, okay. We want to change the spiritual atmosphere from a, a negative to positive. Okay, so in order for us to do that as a network, spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network, we need to have people to become spiritual lighthouses in their zip code area. It doesn't matter what country, it doesn't matter what part of the world, okay? So that is one of the anointing offices that we have to offer through our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network. The second one, Okay, in this in, in a similar fashion, it's called a spiritual city mayor. What does that mean? Okay, you 
become, if you become a spiritual city mayor in your city, then what you're going to do, you're going to grant us a spiritual legal jurisdiction in your city for us to enter your city spiritually, to do spiritual warfare there, okay, to change the spiritual atmosphere over your city from negative to positive in order to lower, you know, the criminality rate, for example, okay, over your city, okay? You don't have to do anything other than just signing up, okay? We do the heavy lifting. We are the ones doing the spiritual warfare over your, you know, zip code area or city. All we need is people there to sign up to become a lighthouse in their zip code area or a spiritual city mayor so that we can enter those regions spiritually every day to do spiritual warfare in order to put demons to run in order to break curses and witchcraft over the city over the zip code area now we also added two more anointed spiritual offices the next one now is uh it's called spiritual state governor okay spiritual governor same thing okay you live in a state at the same way you live in a city and you also live in a zip code well if you sign up to become a spiritual governor over your state same thing okay you don't have to do anything other than signing up by signing up through our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network you are granting us a spiritual legal jurisdiction over your state in order for us to enter your state to do a spiritual warfare there in order to change the spiritual atmosphere over your state from negative to positive to fight off corruption there okay criminality okay all these bad things right that is taking place in states now now we have one more Okay, and believe me, I would like to encourage everybody to sign up for this one. Okay, and I'll explain to you more in details why. So now the next spiritual office that we offer is called a Spiritual Nation President. A spiritual Nation President. Everybody lives in a nation, right? Everybody lives in a state. Everybody lives in a city. Everybody lives in a zip code. So if you become a spiritual, okay, nation president over your nation, the same thing. You don't have to do anything other than just signing up. We need you there to grant, to grant us a spiritual legal jurisdiction over your nation in order for us to enter there to do spiritual warfare over your nation to change the spiritual atmosphere from negative to positive to lower criminality rate okay to get rid of corruption that kind of stuff okay and we do this spiritually not physically not carnally all it's done spiritually okay amen now let me say something else to you since this is not political offices, this is spiritual offices, totally different from political offices, right? It's spiritual because what we do is spiritual offices that we offer anoint like a spiritual anointing over sea, over nations, states, cities, and zip code areas. Because of that, we can have more than one president we can have more than one governor we can have more than one city mayor we can have several people signing up in a zip code area okay that's the beauty of doing things spiritually okay this is not politic it's not a political office it's a spiritual office so in other words okay we can have as many presidents in a nation as we can the more the better now i'm going to encourage you to visit brothercarlos.com which is our website and also it's listed below this video go there to learn more how you can be part of this you know movement 
This is a movement taking place over the entire whole world. Why? It's about time for us to prepare for the, the return of Jesus Christ. But we gotta do our part. Okay, we gotta do our part. Now, one more thing I wanna say, say to you. Anybody can sign up, okay? Amen. Like I said, you sign up, you don't have to do anything other than just signing up. We will do the fighting. We will do the spiritual warfare. We will do the heavy lifting as a network. A spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network. Every day, several times a day. We want to change the spiritual atmosphere from negative to positive over nations, states, cities, and zip code areas. Okay? Now, Listen to this. There's one small financial commitment in order for you to join us. Let me say that again. There's one small financial commitment. Only one time financial commitment in order for you to become a part of this. Right? Why are we asking for a financial uh, commitment? Number one, we are a ministry. We we. Uh, we, we need to support our ministry financially, just like Jesus had a money bag in his ministry to support his ministry, right? We also do the same. We ask people for donations to support our ministry. So this is one way for us to support our ministry. Also, second, okay, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. We need you to put your money where your mouth is. That is your commitment. Okay, Jesus has called you to preach the gospel, okay, and you have done nothing about it. Why? Because talk is cheap. You may say you're going to do it, but you never do it. Why? Because talk is cheap. We need you to put your money where your mouth is. That's your commitment. It's only one time. It's a small commitment, and you're going to be in the game, and you and your family will benefit tremendously for this kind of ministry that we are doing. You will reap the benefits, you and your family, without you having to do anything other than just signing up. Now go to BrotherCarlos.com below this video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook. Go there and sign up. Amen. God bless you now. The website is BrotherCarlos.com. 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 Go there below the video on YouTube, above the video on Facebook. Sign up. Okay. The information is there. God bless you now. Have a good day. Let other people know about it. Share this video. Let other people know about it, okay? The more people we have joining us, the more power we have over the kingdom of Satan. This is all about putting demons to run, okay? Forcing Satan to back off and back away. That's why we do what we do. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye. Father, we just ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in all of us. Okay, friends, you may go now. Okay, uh, I apologize for the short deliverance, but that's okay. We still do it in the background every day, several times a day. But now tomorrow we will have a normal broadcast. Okay, God bless you now. Go now and sign up at BrotherCarlos.com. Bye now.